Why not? So, so um, yes, yes. Lovely, lovely people. people. Five, five rounds, rounds of ten questions. We, we will, will read down the answers, answers for each round, round after, after we've finished. finished. We'll, we'll give, give you a break at one, one point, point so, so you can relieve, relieve yourself, top up your, your glasses, whatever, whatever you need to do. And if, if you've got, got anything you want to say, say if you want to throw in an amazing team name, but as we know by now, should not be a quiz pun. Nobody likes a quiz pun. Then, then um, pop up in the chat, chat give people inspiration, inspiration for your side lockdown, lockdown when they get, get to compete for a best, best team name prize, um, which, which we love. love. So, so, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, any, any queries, queries, any issues, issues with, with anything, anything that's happening technically, technically pop, pop it in the chat. chat. There's a slight delay, but I do get to uh, see it and react, react to it. I promise you. I promise you. So, are we ready? Are we ready? Are we feeling ready? Feeling good? Feeling great? Full of vitamin D? 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 Full of vitamin all right, All right, so, so round, round one, one this week, week is general knowledge, knowledge but general knowledge, colours. So, so colours is a round, round which, which means the answer, the answer has, has a colour. Yeah? yeah? Makes, Makes sense? sense? Makes, Makes sense? sense? You with me? me? Just, Just thought, you know, mix it up. up. Let's, Let's do something, something, do something interesting. interesting. Also, also gives you the chance to go, to go which, which colours have I used? What, what colours, colours are there? there? You, know. you know. Start, Start off nice and easy. easy. Bit, bit of fun. fun. Bit of colour fun. fun. All right. All right. So, so question number one. Which, which square is overlooked by, by the Kremlin in Moscow? Moscow? Which square is, is overlooked by, by the Kremlin in Moscow? Two gentlemen of Corona. I love it. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. Two. Bessie, Bessie Smith. Smith. Bessie Smith, Smith was, was nicknamed, nicknamed Empress of, of which, which musical genre, genre during, during the 1920s and 30s? And 30s. Bessie, Bessie Smith, Smith was, was nicknamed, nicknamed Empress of which, which musical genre, genre during the 1920s and 30s? My sister's watching. I'm not sure she's, she's watched one yet, Mum. Just, just saying. saying. Just saying. <laughs> Question <laughs> number three. What, what is the name of the Norman, Norman Tower at the centre, centre of, of the Tower, Tower of London? London? What is the name of the Norman Tower at the centre of the Tower of London? Right, question number four. What can live to be 60 to 70 years old, weigh up to 159 kilograms, is a herbivore, and can be found off the coast of up to 140 countries? What can live to be 60 to 70 years old, weigh up to 159 kilograms, is a herbivore, and can be found off the coast of up to 140 countries. Hmm. Might give you a couple more seconds on that one. You might know it. You might know it. Ah, oh, I forgot a sound effect again. Next week, next time, I'm going to write it down. Make, it's not even a multiple choice question. Make a multiple choice. Sound effect. Right. Question number five. Whose albums include Misunderstood, Hurts to be Human, and I'm Not Dead? Whose albums include Misunderstood, Hurts to be Human, and I'm Not Dead? 
obvious. Obvious. Yeah. Make a multiple choice sound effect. Maybe I should just keep making one myself. Make it different every week. Question number six. Which Chinese river is the third longest river in Asia and also the sixth longest in the world? Which Chinese river is the third longest river in Asia and also the sixth longest in the world? Texted answers now. <laughs> I'm glad you know. I'm glad you know. Strong. <laughs> Number seven. What colour was Mr. Impossible in Roger Hargreaves' Mr. Men? Mm, what colour was Mr. Impossible in Roger Hargreaves' Mr. Men? Go back to your childhood. Can you picture it? Hmm. There's a couple of other characters this colour. Well, they're all. <laughs> they're all. Multiple characters, multiple colours. But what did Mr. Impossible look like? He was like the Mr. Mr. Ben of the Mr. Man. Okay, question number eight. JFK Jr., Emma Watson, George Rockwell, and John Krasinski are all alumni of which US university? JFK Jr., Emma Watson, George Rockwell, and John Krasinski are all alumni of which US university? Have you started on the Prosecco yet, Laura? Are you still on beer? That's the question. That is the question. Number nine. The mineral pyrite, P-Y-R-I-T-E, is often mistaken for which metal? The mineral pyrite is often mistaken for which metal? And question number 10, your final question of round one. What colour are Bow, Marlborough and Vine on a Monopoly board? What colour are Bow, Marlborough and Vine on a Monopoly board? Nice easy round, right? Nice easy, let's guide you in gently round. That's what I was aiming for. <laughs> let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> whether or not it was. So I'll give you um, a few more seconds and then we'll do the answers. Let's see, getting an opinion. Uh, can't type in the quiz. <laughs> but any colours repeated and she's still on beer. Um, no, no colours repeated. No colours repeated. Anybody need anything repeating? Are we all good? We must be all good. Andy's not even heckling me. <laughs> all right. And I will read out the answers. Oh, question one, please. Hi, Jess. Uh, question one, which square is overlooked by the Kremlin in Moscow? Which square is overlooked by the Kremlin in Moscow? So in case anybody missed the very, very beginning, it's all colours. Every answer has a colour in it, or is a colour. And they're all different. It's a pleasure, Jess. It is a pleasure. All right, so shall we? I think we shall. So number one, which square is overlooked by the Kremlin in Moscow? The red square. Nice and simple. Two, Bessie Smith was nicknamed Empress of which musical genre during the 1920s and 30s? The Blues. Yeah. 
Three, what is the name of the Norman Tower at the centre of the Tower of London? It's the White Tower. White. Four, who can live to be 60 to 70 years old, weigh up to 159 kilograms, is a herbivore, and can be found off the coast of up to 140 countries? It's the green turtle. Green, green turtles. Five. Whose albums include Misunderstood, Hurts to be Human, and I'm Not Dead? Pink. Six, which Chinese river is the third longest river in Asia? Also, the sixth longest in the world. It's the Yellow River. The Yellow River. Seven, what colour was Mr. Impossible in Roger Hargreaves' Mr. Man? Purple. He was purple and had a little blue hat. Mr. Rush was also purple, and obviously, Little Miss Naughty. Um, but yeah, purple. Eight, Jeff K. Jr., Emma Watson, George Rockwell, and John Krasinski. It's the Echo Garden. Oh, that's happy days. A Royal Alumni of which US University? Brown. Brown University. I think, I think, it, just, I think it just gets used to it. There's not a lot I can do about that. We'll see. Maybe my amazing phone placing just soaked it up. Who knows? Nine, the mineral pyrite is often mistaken for fool's gold. She loves gold. 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 Number nine, gold. Ten, what colour are Bo Marlborough and Vine on a Monopoly board? Orange. Orange. Mm -hmm. Some people love those. Streets. Some people really hate them and avoid them at all costs. Weird, weird one. Is it an aversion to the colour orange, or is it just you know aiming big? They want to be on the opposite side of the board. All right. So we all good. How did we score? How did we score? Was it a high scoring round? That's what I want to know. Pop it in the chat. Tell me how you did. Very exciting. I hope you did well. But yeah, pop, pop it in the chat, chat, let me know. Ooh, five, Daisy. I'll take it. Six out of ten. Yes. Strong. I love mid. I think mid is, is strong. Eight. Oof. Get you. Wow, wow the two, two gentlemen of Corona. Hello. Very good. Very good indeed. All right, so round two is history. Don't know how you feel about that. <laughs> but it's history, okay? So you might be history boss. You might go and get in. This is my time to shine. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. But no, it's just a bit of fun. It doesn't mean anything. It's, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Jamie, you got zero. Is that because you didn't play the round? <laughs> or you just, I, I don't. Do you have some sort of, do you only see black and white? Is that the main issue? And I've brought up some sort of hideous. Anyway, I'm getting distracted by the chat now. Sorry guys, history. Round number two, question number one. Which of Henry VIII's wives was the last to die in 1557? It's a tricky one. Which of Henry VIII's wives was the last to die in 1557? You go through the primary school rhyme. You can obliterate a few of them, so there's a choice. But, you know, who was the last to die? Hmm. Hmm. I used to love, we used to, um, I've been to Hampton Court once. Loved it. Loved, Loved it. it. Kitchens are amazing. Two. Question number two. Hibernia. Hibernia was the Roman name for which island? Hibernia was the Roman name for which island? I must say, the sound production on time again is exciting. There you go. I'll tell you what. 
Laura and Tim that have done the editing on the radio bay have been amazing. They've literally never done it before and they have been amazing. Thank you, Andy. I will pass that on to him. Question number three. The Battle of Edge Hill was the first of which conflict? The Battle of Edge Hill was the very first of which conflict? Question number four. Which major British newspaper closed down for almost a year in 1978? Which major British newspaper closed down for almost a year in 1978? Question number five. What is the name of the survey of England carried out for William the Conqueror? You will know this. What is the name of the survey of England carried out for William the Conqueror? You do know it. Question number six. In which country did the Battle of Waterloo take place? In which country did the Battle of Waterloo take place? Hmm. You might hate me after this round. Sorry, guys. You might not. I could be underestimating you. And no, we would not want to do that. We would not want to do that. In the, in the Second, Second World War, question number seven, in the Second World War, Operation Sea Lion was the aborted plan to invade which country? In the Second World War, Operation Sea Lion was the aborted plan to invade which country? GCSE history coming back to haunt you. <laughs> I had a great, great, I mean, had great teachers, teachers, history teachers, Mr. Mr. George, Mr. Corden, Dr. Dr. Dunlop, oh, they were great. I had an amazing trip to France as well. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> Question number eight. Which, Which explorer is credited with bringing the first cocoa beans to Europe in the early 1500s? Which, Which explorer is credited with bringing the first cocoa beans to Europe in the early 1500s? Hmm. Name an explorer. Name an explorer. Preferably the right explorer. Question number nine. Which American state was an independent country from 1836 until 1845 when it was annexed by the USA. Which American state was an independent country from 1836 until 1845 when it was annexed by the USA? Which state? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not, not in a toilet, toilet Andrew. Andrew. I'm, I'm so, so sorry, I'm echoey. I will do my best to rectify, rectify echo, echo next, next week. week. <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe, Maybe I, should I should do, do it, it from, from the toilet, toilet one week. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to my bathroom. bathroom. No. Uh, uh, question, question number 10. 10. In, in which year, year were the, the first female Church of England, England priests ordained? ordained? It's, it's a multiple, multiple choice. Ba, 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 ba. Is it A, 1994, B, 1996, or C, 1998? Let's do a better noise. Uh, what should I do? It's like pom-pom-pom. That's, That's better. better. Question, Question number 10. 10. It's a multiple, multiple choice. choice. Multiple choice question. In which, which year were the first female Church of England priests ordained? A. 1994. B. 1996. Or C. 1998. The choice is yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course you can. can. So, so question, question number three was the Battle, Battle of Edge Hill, Hill was the, the first of which, which conflict? The Battle, Battle of Edge Hill was the, the very first battle of which, which conflict. conflict. And, and number four, which, which major British, British newspaper closed down for almost a year in 1978? Which major British newspaper closed down for almost a year in 1978? All good. Anybody, Anybody else need any more questions repeating? I will. Nice to not see you. Thanks for joining. Oh, Penny Peacock. I do miss Penny Peacock. It's a pleasure. Um, also, Andy, I should say, if you can imagine all the Foley sounds for greyhounds, everybody literally having to walk on gravel or walk in heels on different surfaces, they've recorded all of that so that we can have it in the background of the episodes. It's all been recorded hours and hours. God love them. We've not like taken it all from Sound Effects Bank or anything. They've, they've recorded every bit. It's insane. They've done, they've done amazingly well. All right, are we all good? Are we ready for some answers? Feeling strong? Reckon Jamie's gonna get more than zero? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> all right, so. Question number one. Which of Henry VIII's wives was the last to die in 1557? It was Anne of Cleves. Anne of Cleves. Yeah. Younger than Catherine Parr, I think. Either way, she outlived her. The one that looked like a horse. Outlived. So two, Hibernia was the Roman name for which island? Ireland. Roman name for Ireland. Three, the Battle of Edge Hill was the first of which conflict? The English Civil War. English Civil War. Four, the major newspaper that shut down in 1978 for almost a year. It was, um, I think it was just industrial action. It was the Times. The Times. Five, what is the name of the Survey of England carried out for William the Conqueror? The Doomsday Book. You did know it. Six. In which country did the Battle of Waterloo take place? Belgium. Belgium. Mm -hmm. Seven. In the Second World War, Operation Sea Lion was the aborted plan to invade the UK. Yep. Eight. Which explorer is credited with bringing the first cocoa beans to Europe in the early 1500s? Christopher Columbus. They all laughed at him when he said the world was round. But he bought us chocolate, so he could say whatever he wanted. Nine. Which American state was an independent country from 1836 until 1845 when it was annexed by the USA? Is that why it's called the Lone Star State? Hmm. Might look that up. Texas. And ten. In which year were the first... Female Church of England priests ordained, 1994, 1996, or 1998. A, 1994. 1994. Yep. So that is the end of round two. How did we score? Oh, Penny Peacock. <laughs> I should, I feel like I need to tell everybody. Penny Peacock is, <laughs> is a miniature schnauzer and she's very beautiful. Um, seven. Don't know saying it's fifth wife counts. <laughs> the fifth 
what? Number, number five. It's number five. <laughs> Why not? You're marking yourself. I trust you. Oh, Jess and <laughs> Sandra. I'm so sorry. Taisy's sticking strong with the five. Amazing. Alan. The two gentlemen of Corona steam ahead here. Another eight. Oh, well, let's see if we can even things up a little bit with round three. This is possibly one of my favourite rounds of all time. Of all time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You didn't get a zero, Jess. Pat yourself on the back, my friend. So, um... Round three is nature. It's a nature round, but it's not a typical nature round. So, um, cause you know, you gotta, you gotta spice things up. You gotta spice things up, right? Um, has to be eight percent fierce. Let's write down. Uh, so this inspired, um, by Mark and Lard many moons ago on the radio. This is fish or fowl. Fish or fowl? Get in. So I'm going to give you the name <laughs> of a fish or a fowl. I'm just giving you the name. You have to. You just write down fish or fowl. Fish or fowl. Jess is feeling extraordinarily confident on this one. Love it. Fish or fowl? I'm just going to give you the name. You have to tell me <laughs> if it's a fish or a fowl. Like a phoenix, according to Jamie, who is rising from the ashes of the last few rounds. You can take this. Are we ready? Are we ready? So, number one, fish or fowl? Buffle head. Buffle head. Fish or fowl? Not a house at Hogwarts. A fish or a fowl? Buffle head. Okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying this round far too much already. Two. Number two is a pochard or a pochard. Pochard. P O C H A R D. A pochard. Fish or fowl? Hmm. A pochard. I feel like I should be on the dance floor somewhere. Pochard. Maybe not. Maybe not. Number three. Ling. Ling. Is it a fish or a fowl? A ling. A fish or fowl? Hmm. Four. Pintail. A pin tail. Fish or fowl? Pin tail. Not pin the tail of the donkey. Fish or fowl. Number five. Everyone knows this one. Xander. Is Xander a fish or a fowl? Not just a character from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But a Xander, fish or fowl? <laughs> I wish they were repeating. Are they repeating Buffy anywhere? I should sit and watch Buffy. Not while the sun's shining. She should go outside when that's happening. Six. A walleye. A walleye. 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 Fish or fowl? Walleye. Fish or fowl? <laughs> You need to remember that I can't see you, but the whole internet can see me. <laughs> Number seven. Big Eye. Is Big Eye, Big Eye, a fish or a fowl? Big Eye. A Buffy musical. Oh, let's hope somebody takes that creatively on the other side of this mess and creates something wondrous. I would watch that. No, I would watch it. Love the film. The original film. Love the TV series. Why not? Number eight. 
So we have walleye, big guy, and now it's buckeye. Is buckeye, 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 buck a fish or a fowl? A fish or a fowl? Oh, Mark and Maud, the good old days. To be fair, the next two might just be my favourites. Number nine. Number nine is a chub sucker. A chub sucker. I'm going to need one of those on the other side of lockdown. A chub sucker. Is it a fish or a fowl? A chub sucker. Brilliant. Fish or fowl? <laughs> I know, right, Jess? I know. So There's so much innuendo you can go over with on the internet. I'll, I'll just stick with things like Jessica. <laughs> if we were in person, I'd load the innuendo in. Would be a good big name. It would. Who would take that as a name? Which which brewery would love that as a name? Alan! What? <laughs> you got 10! 
then. <sighs> you are the master of fish. Wow. Congratulations. Congratulations. The two gentlemen of Corona. Alan knows his job suck as well. You are right, Jess. He knew. He knew. <laughs> You're seven, seven. Yes. yes. You do, do have, have an oncologist on the team. All right, well, that's just... Some, some might say those street magic jokes. jokes. That's, that's great. great. Amazing. Amazing. You, you guys are steaming it this evening. evening. Love it. Right, so... Normally, around, around this time, have a very, very quick break for people, people to top up their glasses, zip, zip off to the toilet, do whatever, whatever you need to do. do. So, so we'll, we'll just, just take, take a couple of minutes to just catch our breath after such a great round, even if I do say so Everyone name my plants, plants that, that I bought into the uh, arena this week. It doesn't have a name yet. I feel like it should. I can't decide if it's male or female. Not, Not quite, quite a phoenix, but like a chub sucker, sucker from the sea. sea. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Uh, amazing. Brilliant. I'm sure Laura will be texting me in a minute to tell me how she did. You know, you, know, you worked on Secret, Secret Life of the Zoo. How many did you get, Laura? <laughs> uh, I, would I would have got eight. Strong Andy. Andy. So you should have played... I mean, I mean you, you are playing secretly. secretly. You're just, just not physically writing, writing it down. down. Excellent. 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 We're, We're all playing. playing. We're all playing. So, so um, those, those of you that don't, don't know Mary and Archie, um, this, this is who we are, are Mary and Archie. We're a lovely little independent bar and cafe. Uh, in West Didsbury and Chalton and, and we're just trying to keep a bit, a bit of community going during, during lockdown, lockdown. And, and um we, we are running, running a crowdfunder if you'd like to support us through if you'd normally be in on a Wednesday night, night a Friday night, night whatever buying a pint um then please you know drop, drop whatever you can into that crowdfunder so that we can be there on the other side it's, it's a wonderful family run business I for one have loved working there and, and would love to continue and, and continue, continue to, to support them and i very, very much enjoy meeting the dogs that come to meet me, me. <laughs> but they're not working because there's, there's a dog for me to meet basically <laughs> <laughs> so unless, unless somebody wants to bring, bring a cat in on a lead, lead. I'm, I'm not cat you can bring, bring a cat in rabbit, rabbit on a lead, lead. I'll, I'll pet it, it. give it a bit of carrot you just, you just pop, pop by and visit, visit on, on the other side, side and you will see. see. All, All right, right. How, how are we all feeling? feeling? Everybody topped up? up? Refreshed? Ablutions taken care of? Still enjoying? Is everybody Googled what a child sucker actually, actually looks, looks like? like? That's, That's the question. question. Am, Am I Mary or Archie? I'm just Sam. Sam. <laughs> I'm just Sam. Sam. No, no, Mary and Archie, um, Ellie, Tom, Tom and Bev, Bev are the heart and soul of the family behind Mary and Archie. And, and Ellie, Ellie is the wonder that does Ellie Rose McCrane. So if you, if you need any hangings from her, like, she's amazing. So if you've been to the one in Chalton especially, all the plants are in her amazing McCrane hangers. Just <laughs> it looks disappointingly boring. Normally things with astonishing names, they can turn out to be slightly dull. Slightly dull. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, you know, what are you going to do, man? Maybe, maybe that's why. Maybe, maybe they're like, oh, dude, you look really dull. So I'll tell you what, we'll give you a cracking name. <laughs> I wonder how many. many. I know there's quite, quite a lot of animals named after David Attenborough. I wonder, I wonder how many fish or fowl have got a David Attenborough link. I know there's a spider. Right, are we ready? Should we crack on with round four? Yes. So, so, round, round four, four this, this week, week sport. sport. <clears throat> Maybe, Maybe it was their actions that inspired the name. Actions speak louder than words, Alessandra. All right, All right so, 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 sport. sport. Round, round four, question number one. How long is a swimming race in the Olympic Games if the competitors swim eight lengths of the pool? How long is a swimming race in the Olympic Games if the competitors swim eight lengths of the pool? Mm-hmm. 
of multiplication on a Wednesday. Two. In rugby union, which position wears a number nine shirt? In rugby union, which position wears a number nine shirt? Mm -hmm. Yes. We all good? <gasps> Got a lot of messages. Question number three. Who holds the record for the highest individual score in a test match when he scored 400 not out against England? Who holds the record for the highest individual score in a test match when he scored 400 not out against England? Legend. Think of a legendary batsman. Against England. Hopefully, Dad's shouted that one out straight away. I know it. Question number four Which sport is played by the Colorado Avalanche, the New York Rangers, and the Boston Bruins? Which sport is played by Colorado Avalanche, New York Rangers, and Boston Bruins? Hmm. What do you think about that one? Okay, question number five. Five, five. In athletics, what is between 2.6 and 2.7 meters in length for men and between 2.2 and 2.3 meters in length for women? In athletics, what is between 2.6 and 2.7 metres in length for men and between 2.2 and 2.3 metres in length for women? Hmm. I'll let you think about that one. Why not? Do a little, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Could it be this? Could it be that? It's definitely this. It's definitely that. Ready? Ready. Number six. The Rocket is the nickname of which snooker player? The Rocket is the nickname of which snooker player? It's pretty much think of a snooker player, right? Seven. The Silver Ferns. The Silver Ferns represent New Zealand women internationally in which sport? The Silver Ferns represent New Zealand women internationally in which sport? Hmm. Have we got it? Have we got it? Hmm. Question number eight. Which club has been relegated as the Scottish Premiership officially ended the season declaring Celtic champions? So it is sort of in the news question after what I said earlier. Which club has been relegated as the Scottish Premiership officially ended the season declaring Celtic or Celtic champions? Ooh, not happy about it. Thinking of launching some sort of legal case, query, battle, 
Nobody go on the BBC website and check. Nobody go on sports pages and check. Just write down a name. <laughs> Number nine. Ba, 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 ba. It's a multiple choice. Yes. Andy Murray lost his first two Grand Slam finals to which opponent? Was it A, Djokovic, B, Federer, or C, Nadal? Andy Murray lost his first two Grand Slam finals to which opponent? A, Djokovic, B, Federer, or C, Nadal? Ooh. Trixie. When were they? How long ago? Who was, what, ooh. Hmm. And question number 10. Question number 10. Ba, 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 ba. Another multiple choice. Yes. Which sport has provided the most winners of the BBC Sports Personality of the Year? Is it A, tennis, B, cricket, or C, athletics? Which sport has provided the most winners of the BBC Sports Personality of the Year? A. Tennis, B. Cricket, C. Athletics. The choice is yours. Ah, yes. What do we think? Anybody need anything repeating? Let me know in the chat. I'll make that happen. I feel like we moved, moved on from suckers very quickly with that round. Question number nine for Jess. It's a ba, 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 multiple choice. Nine. Andy Murray lost his first two, first two Grand Slam finals to which opponent? A. Djokovic. B. Federer. C. Nadal. Any others for anybody? Shall we tell the answers? No, I think I will. No, I think I will. All right, so. Five, Jess, five, in athletics. <laughs> what is between 2.6 and 2.7 metres in length for men and between 2.2 and 2.3 metres in length for women? Don't apologise, Jess. It's fine. And then I'm going too quickly. There might be discussion might be a delay on your Zoom and your team, I just don't, I just don't know. So between 2.6 and 2.7 metres in length for men, and 2.2 and 2.3 metres in length for women. Oh, <laughs> it might be you next time. It might be you next time. It's like, could you please just repeat this? I can. Maybe you think, I love the sound of my own voice. Speed is fine, Jeff. Please make sure you keep up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the phoenix has spoken, Jess. So, you ready? I'm going to read out the answers, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Number one How long is the swimming race in the Olympic Games if the competitors swim eight lengths of the pool? 400 meters. So, 50 meters all, 400 meters. Two, in rugby union, which position wears a number nine shirt? Scrum half. Scrum half. Glory. Three, who holds the record for the highest individual score in a test match when he scored 400 not out against England? In Antigua, I believe it was. It's Brian Lara. Brian Lara. Legend of a batsman. Four. Which sport is played by Colorado Avalanche, New York Rangers, and Boston Bruins? Ice hockey. Ice hockey. Not baseball. Not basketball. Not American football. Ice hockey. Fine. In athletics, what is between 2.6 and 2.7 metres for men and 2.2 and 2.3 metres for women? Javelin. Aha. Uh -huh. 
the Javelin 6. The Rocket is the nickname of which snooker player? Ronnie O'Sullivan. Seven, the Silver Ferns represent New Zealand internationally in which sport? Netball. The netball team. Eight, which club has been relegated as the Scottish Premiership officially ended the season declaring Celtic champions? Hearts. And their hearts are rocking. Nine. Andy, Andy Murray lost, lost his first two grand slam finals to which opponent? Djokovic, Federer, or Nadal? Nadal. It was B, Federer. Ah, think about how young he was when he started. And, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten. Which, which sport has provided the most winners of BBC Sports Personality of the Year? C, Athletics. It's Athletics. Yep. Even though ben, it was Ben Stokes last year, wasn't it? Yeah, right, so, so how do we do, lovely people? people? How did, How did we get, get on? on? How was that as a sports round? I tried to make it nice and loose. I'm sure, people, people that love football will hate me a little bit for not putting in more football, football questions. questions. Sorry. Six, Six out of ten. ten. Yes. It's good. good. Nine. Nine. Jamie. Jamie. Oh, oh, look, look at, at that. that. Seven, Seven out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, Daisy. Yes, yes. Jess, five. Yes. Jamie's like, Fanny is Phoenix Wings. Alan, where are, are you? How, How did you do? do? Five. Eileen, yes. yes. I would say we've, we've got, got to balance, balance you out, Alan. Alan. <laughs> got to balance you out. <laughs> All, All right, so, so your final, final round tonight. tonight. I tend to try and make my final, final round some, some sort of theme. theme. And I went with the theme, theme of the week, week for me. How I've been feeling. Which, which is bored. Bored. <laughs> so the word <laughs> you need to think of is bored. Or bored. 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 Yeah. I'm bored. bored. Got to that, that point, point, that, that point, point, people, that, that point, point of just, just being like, like enough of this. Enough. enough. All right, so don't fall out, don't fall out, out in, in the chat. chat. That's not. <laughs> don't don't fall out. out. What? I reckon you, you could, could invent a sport, Alan. Set up some, some sort of obstacle course in your house. <laughs> You do, do what, what we did, did as kids, kids and get, get the airbed or the sleeping bag when you finish your sleepover and see how fast you can get downstairs. Dangerous, but amazing. That, that should be a sport. sport. Anyway, anyway, right, final round tonight. tonight. Bored. <laughs> Question number one. Whose single, Bored, was featured on the 13 Reasons Why soundtrack? They're a Grammy Award winner. Whose single, Bored, was featured, featured on, on the 13 Reasons Why soundtracks. So that, that was, what, 2017? And they're multi-grammy award winning. Hmm. You might just know it. You might just know it. Question number two. Which program ends each episode with boardroom scenes and a taxi walk of shame? <laughs> which, which program ends each, each episode with boardroom scenes and then a taxi walk of shame? Not, Not the real boardroom, boardroom. it's the studio. studio. It's devastating. Name, Name that TV, TV program. program. Three. Number three. Who won a gold medal in an individual pursuit cycling in the 1992 Summer Olympics? Who, Who won, won a gold, gold medal in the individual pursuit cycling at the 1992 Summer Olympics? Think about the theme. Number four. Question number four. Which 1989 film depicts the use of a hoverboard? Which 1989 film depicts the use of, of a hoverboard. hoverboard. 
question number five. five. Short, long, fish, gun, and fun are all boards associated with which sport? Short, long, fish, gun, and fun are all boards associated with which sport? Good. Yeah. Number six. Which British, British sitcom, sitcom written, written by, by Ben Elton, Elton that first aired in 1989, 1989, another 1989, had an episode called Bored, where the main characters were bored and spent the episode trying to find something to amuse them? Which, Which British, British sitcom, written by Ben Elton, that first, first aired in 1989, 1989 had an episode, episode called Bored, where, where the main characters were bored and, and spent the entire episode trying to find something to amuse them. What could that have been? What did Ben Elton write back in the late 80s? Question number seven. Which Lithuanian, who knew, I did not know it was Lithuanian, art and design creative website publishes lightweight and inoffensive topics with a view to getting them to go viral? So name the website. Think about the theme. Which, Which Lithuanian, Lithuanian art and design creative website publishes lightweight and inoffensive topics with a view to getting them to go viral? Pops up a lot. It's my kind of tunnel to go down. I'm not going to lie. Number eight. Which county? Which county hosts the, the Ball Masters Festival. Festival. Usually cancelled. Which county hosts the Board Masters Festival? Usually not this year. And question number nine. If you use all your letters in the board game Scrabble in one go, what is it called? Is it A, bingo, B, hook, or C, ace? If you use all your letters in one go in the Scrabble board game, what is it called? A, bingo, B, hook, or C, ace? Which one of those terms is given to the board game Scrabble? When you use all your letters in one go, oh, I forgot to the noise. Bah, 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 multiple choice. <laughs> yeah. I'll do that again now, though, because bah, 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 your final question this evening, question number 10, is a multiple choice. So, number 10, including fictional editions, how many versions of the board game Monopoly are there? A. 356, B, 647, C, 1,144, or D, she went there, 1,481. Ooh, I know, right? Including fictional editions, how many versions of the board game Monopoly are there? A, 356, B, 647, C, 1,144, or D, 1,184. How many could there be? Choice is yours. Thanks for the lunch, Jamie. I was on it, I was on it. How are we doing? Somebody's buzzed me, is it you, Laura? Is it somebody else? Does Laura need, anybody need, uh, excellent. Anybody, Laura sent me a picture of her answer sheet watching you 
anybody need any questions repeating? I floated down the Yellow River on inflated sheepskins once. I floated down the Yellow River on inflated sheepskins once. That is the title of an album of like Mongolian throat singers or something. In it. <laughs> well done, Laws. Well done. I'm sorry, I haven't checked your scores for you, but very good. Very good. Excellent. How are we doing? I love doing a sound effect. Love it. Jess, are we all good? Do you need anything repeating? Everybody's so mean to you. Can you ask question one? Whose single board was featured on the 13 Reasons Why soundtrack? Any clues were? It's a Grammy Award winner, multiple. And that was in 2017, the soundtrack. Yep. 13 reasons, 13 reasons why quite, you know, fresh, new, modern. You know, I didn't get past how many episodes of it because it was all a bit <sighs> for me. Very worthy, very, oh look, we're holding your interest though. Mm. Not though. Brutal. Brutal. Everybody good? Anybody need any other questions? Because, you know, the great British Sony Bee has started. <laughs> You're all better than Joe Lysett. You're all better than Joe Lysett. <laughs> Are we ready? So the answers for your final round tonight, round five. Board, the single featured on the 13 Reasons Why soundtrack, was from Billie Eilish. Yep. Two. Which program ends each episode with boardroom scenes in a studio and a taxi walk of shame? The Apprentice. Three, who won a gold medal in individual pursuit cycling at the 1992 Summer Olympics? Chris Boardman. Chris Boardman. Four, which 1989 film depicts the use of a hoverboard? Back to the Future, part two. That's right. Five. Short, long, fish, gun, and fun are all boards associated with surfing. Six, which British sitcom written by Ben Elton, first airing in 1989, had an episode called Bored, where the main characters were bored and spent a whole episode trying to find something to amuse them, ignoring the fact that there were vegetables, roller skating through the kitchen, etc., etc. It's the young ones. And it was Billion. It was very bored. The young ones. Back in the day. Seven. Which Lithuanian art and design creative website publishes lightweight and inoffensive topics with a view to getting them to go viral? And they do very well at it. It's Bored Panda. Always popping up with little things, little adverts everywhere. You should watch this and go down the tunnel of joy. Doom. It's a tunnel of doom. Eight. Which county hosts the Ball Masters Festival? Usually. Cornwall. Down in Cornwall. Nine. If you use all your letters in one go in Scrabble, what's it called? A bingo, B hook, or C ace. It's A bingo. Brilliant, but also what? And ten. Including fictional editions, how many versions of the board game Monopoly are there currently? Because they're always making new ones, right? It's C one thousand one hundred and forty. Four. That's insane. 1,144. Imagine if you're some sort of enthusiast and you just bought all of them. Ever. That's insane. Insane. So that's it. How did we do? What are your scores? How are we feeling? Do we feel like winners? Do we feel like Wednesday winners? <laughs> I feel like the 8% is kicking in. I'm like, yes! <laughs> How do we do, guys? Oh, 5 out of 10. <gasps> Alan, peaked too early. It's a fate lots of people, you know, lots of people <laughs> go through. And it's okay. It's okay. We'll talk it through. We'll find the other side. Taisy, 7 out of 10. 
32 out of 50 total. Boom, boom, boom. Taze is like, I'm on this. I've got, got my full score. score. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Ollie. <laughs> Do you know what that quiz, Ollie? <laughs> Taxi walk of shame for Ollie. Taxi walk of shame. Jamie, 31. The phoenix, he rose from the flames. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Daisy. I hope we see you next Wednesday. I won't be able to, you know, fish or fowl, but <laughs> we'll have fun. <laughs> Alan, 35 in total. See, everybody's quite close to the end. We brought it back. Kept it quite close. Love it. Can't thank you enough for joining me for a little slice of Mary and Archie and creating this community. I feel like we're going to come back and have a quiz on the other side and I'm going to see your faces and be like, oh, you're Jamie. Oh, you're J- Taze. Ah, in person. It's going to be amazing. Uh, but yeah, support us if you can on our crowdfunder. Support your local businesses. Keep keeping on. Keep trucking, people. 20 awful score. <laughs> it's not an awful score. It's not zero. It's not, you know, it's Wednesday. You're a winner, Alessandra. You're a winner. Everyone's <laughs> oh, yes. It's an absolute pleasure. And I will keep trying to make it interesting. And I will keep trucking on. But yeah, like whatever, whatever you're doing, if you're a key worker, I think you're an absolute legend. legend. If you're a teacher, uh, you're a legend. If you are a parent who's trying to homeschool and hold down a job, you are a force of nature. And do not worry if all you want to do is build a den with your kid and leave them to play. Or kids, but I don't know how you're doing it. You're amazing. And um, I don't think we should go back to schools too soon. I think it's scary. And um, I think follow your instincts. You're the parent. You're the person. Know what's right for your kids. That's, That's it. it. And, and I, I, I'm, I'm very, very pleased I'm not a head teacher or in a position to do anything about that. It's it's really a lot. So I, I always preach, Ollie. You, you want to see me get on the soapbox, mate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, no. no. See, this is the point, Jess. This is the point. But the person that really doesn't want to be Prime Minister is probably the perfect person for the job. And, and that's why we end up with Muppets. <laughs> But anyway, anyway, please, please take, take care, care of yourselves. Please, please join, join me next week. week. I won't get political. Uh, Mum and Dad, if you're watching, I love you. I'm sorry I can't see you. And uh, everybody else, really take care of yourselves. You know, extra hour of exercise every day. Extra hour of a walk. Extra hour to raise that glass to your face. That's exercise, right? I'm, I'm open. open. <laughs> it's, it's a pleasure, guys. Thank, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank you. And uh, tell, tell people about it. Get people to join in. Get people to know about Mary and Archie. If they live in London or America or whatever, we could be their breakfast quiz. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, take care of yourselves. And I'll be here next week. And um, it's always a pleasure. Thank you.